Dr. Noreen Johnson never thought she would be considered a pioneer in robotic surgery, but that's exactly what she is. I was among the first three physicians that got trained in robotic um, surgery and, of course, among the first two that got trained in robotic gynecology. I love challenges, and this was a challenge, and it was uh, really fulfilling, you know, as the years went by. And as time passed since learning this highly technical surgical technique, Dr. Johnson has willingly shared her knowledge. We have a saying in, um, in medicine and in surgery, see one, do one, teach one. So I have trained, you know, and worked with a lot of uh, other physicians, um, uh, helping them develop the skill set. You know, to whom a lot is given, a lot is expected. With a heart full of love, Dr. Johnson has lived her life to help others, and she's never forgotten to the people of her homeland. I was born on the island of Trinidad, and Trinidad and Tobago are twin islands and uh, Tobago is the less served medically. While on a visit home more than a decade ago, a conversation changed Dr. Johnson's life forever. It happened about 13 years ago. I was visiting my mom in Trinidad, and she knew that I was doing mission work in Africa, China, etc. And she just planted a seed that grew into what we now call Touch Tobago. She said to me, you know, um, my dear, you go all over the world helping other people. Why don't you come home and do something for your own people here? And those words stuck with me. They were given 13 years ago by my mom, who is now 99. The work on the island hasn't been easy, and the hours are often long, but the time spent helping others is appreciated. That has been very rewarding because uh, over the years, you know, it's always well, a welcome experience for me to go back and see somebody bring me a baby and say, Dr. Johnson, this is one of yours. It's refreshing to practice in an environment where it's not dependent on, on, on getting paid, where you can just see the gratitude of the people. While money isn't accepted by Dr. Johnson's team of about 15, villagers oftentimes give them fresh fruit and fish to show their appreciation. Giving rather than receiving, it just feels so much better. With the respect and gratitude of those around her, Dr. Johnson and her team look forward to continuing the work that has touched so many. I would say that I would do the same thing all over again. Um, it's that close to my heart um, that I can't see myself doing anything else.